Hey there, folks. Uh, Dwayne here. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you today about the Chi Yu. Uh, it's an updated video again. Uh, I guess this is going to probably be my third video on the Chi Yu. Uh, but I just. It's a really good mod. I got a brass one now, as you can see. Uh, it's, I love it. You know, I love my brass one. They're both clones. Just want to make sure they're clones so people don't get offended out there. Um, a couple of things that, that I did to it uh, was the spring, of course. Not the spring, of course, but uh, I did the spring. I was having troubles with it, uh, the spring flattening. Uh, so I made my own spring. Uh, you're going to need to do that. You're going to need a uh, copper wire. Uh, I got it from my TV. <laughs> uh, and then uh, now that I have uh, two mods, I got a brass one and a stainless steel one, I was able to kind of transform this one with pieces and... Uh, made it a little bit shorter and hit a little bit harder uh so uh take a quick beat this is the patriot it's a clone so i sanded the bird off of it but uh let's uh go ahead and change camera views and i'll show you what i did to it yeah, see, I'm just showing my build on it. This is a center post. It's cotton. Something serious. But let's get to the meat of the story here. So, what you're going to need to do take it apart. You need a screwdriver. You need a screwdriver, you're going to need some drill bits. I think the drill bit size you would need. See? Yeah, I'll just stretch it out a little bit. Make it a tension a little harder. But, uh, see? That's my spring for the chi, you know. And I tell you, man, that made a big difference. I had that little thin, thin little cheesy steel one. Putting this one in there really makes a difference. Really makes a difference. I, I've used magnetic switches. Magnetic switches, they die out over time. Um, this is, I don't know what, what makes them die out, but they die out. Now the drill bit size I needed for this was a quarter inch drill bit. And what you'll do, basically what you'll do, you'll get yourself a piece of... Uh, Piece of copper wire. Piece of copper wire. And then you'll wrap it around the drill bit, kind of like you're making a micro coil. You'll go around it about, I think, three times. Because you don't want to go around it too much. Cause if you go around it too much, you're gonna, you're not gonna have room for your switch. So you just clip off those little excess ends, just like that. And then uh, basically you just take it and you just pull it out, <laughs> pull it out, and now you got yourself a. A spring for your TU. <laughs> the spring here, it, it'll it's just makes it you know it's cheaper than going and buying a bunch of springs and and uh, works a lot better. Works a lot better. I tell you what. <laughs> so that that's the first thing that I did to the TU. Uh, let's put the switch back together. And if for the people that have two TUs or if you went and. Uh, Buy uh, the small extension tube from Fastec. I think Fastec sells them. See what you're gonna do. You're gonna put both your kick tubes. I guess the kick tubes are small extension tubes. You're gonna put those two together and stack them on top of it together. And you're gonna replace this one. See how it's just a little bit shorter. Just a little bit shorter. That just makes this the almost just a little bit of a difference I like it I like it a lot 
And so basically, when you do that, you're going to have to take out this screw right here. Take that out. And then tighten that to your atomizer. Put these together. Put your switch back on. And then that screws on there just like that. And then tighten your locking ring down. And now you, you got it just hella smaller. It's just a little bit smaller. And then you got direct contact to the top of your battery. You got all that surface area on top of your top of your battery. Just makes a big difference. Take a clip up. See, I got magnets. Magnets, they just die out. You know, they just kind of die out over time. So I use them on special occasions. Every once in a while, I'll put them in there and just kind of play with it. But um, I wasn't really impressed with the magnets. I really kind of wasn't. So, but, uh, oh, yeah. And another thing, uh, I didn't bring it out. But the top cap for your, for your Astro, if you have an Astro mod, the top cap will fit for your TU. <laughs> makes it pretty interesting um i think i got let me show you what it looks like where is that my, is that my purse top cap this is just an extra one my buddy gave me for the astro and you just take that off oh and screw that and then uh it'll have like a little bit of you kind of have to put something in between there um uh, maybe like another screw like another screw, you're gonna have to pop this one out and put another screw in there because you're gonna have a little bit of room. But if you have a, if actually, if you have a battery that has a nipple top, it'll work perfect. If you have a nipple top battery, but you got a little bit of, a little bit of wiggle room in there. But, um, isn't that cool? <laughs> it's not very much, not very much, but you can, you can take that out. And then now your Chi use is like hella even smaller. As for the guys, I guess you have an Astro mod. I don't know. I I've done it on my my brass my brass one. I don't know how, where it's at right now. I gotta put it away. That's kind of like the, the way my Chi U looks right now. But uh, thank you guys for uh. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, I hope this uh, this will probably be my last Chiyu. I don't think there's anything else, anything anybody can do to it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to email me. Put anything in the comments. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, comment, and uh, share. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Vape safe.